Hey guys, this is CSCX, but you can call me Sean, and I have mixed feelings about WWE 2K22. For those that don't know, I am a big wrestling fan and love virtually all of wrestling minus anything involving WWE, especially since in the last year they managed to release 80 wrestlers and get the one guy that wants to leave they wouldn't let go. However, the one thing I still find myself coming back to with WWE are... The video games. The WWE games are not only a relatively enjoyable time through, aside from when the games actually launch and are bugs beyond belief, but they're also the only real option for a major 3D wrestling game that isn't from M. Dickey. Although Wrestling Empire still manages to be a lot of fun, to be honest. But in terms of AAA level games, we're still waiting on the AEW game to be finished, and I'm honestly pretty glad they're giving Ukes, the former game developers of WWE games, all the time in the world to finish it up. As for the WWE 2K games themselves, they used to be developed by Ukes, until they got fed up with how stuff was done, as well as those games being the only things they got to make ever since 2K bought the license to make WWE games. This left 2K in a conundrum as they actually wanted to skip a year as a result of it, but WWE being the ever understanding and caring company that they are said, I DON'T GIVE A SHIT! So they had visual concepts, the one that made the NBA 2K games for years work on WWE 2K20. It's honestly amazing that it actually got built in such a short amount of time, but we were probably better off without it, even if it included The Fiend. This resulted in 2K opting to cancel WWE 2K21 to make sure the next actual game, 2K22, would actually be good, to the point that it's releasing in March of 2022 instead of last October or November. In 2K21's place, however, was a poor man's version of WWE All-Stars I've actually took a look at, and you can see right here in this note in the upper right corner, because annotations were incapable of being too complicated to understand by YouTube standards. And now we've officially got more info on the games from the release date to the price point, but the pricing feels really wrong. Here we see the standard edition. Okay, 60 bucks as expected, nothing wrong with... Oh, I see. Yeah, the standard edition is only for the last gen version. In order to get the current gen version, being PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S, you need to shill out an additional $20 for a cross-gen bundle. Now to be fair, an additional 20 bucks isn't too bad, until you remember that multiple companies have been including a current gen version of the last gen game with the purchase for free! Miles Morales has the PS5 version included for free, Pena Bridge of Spirits does, Final Fantasy VII Remake has a free upgrade, even 2K themselves allowed a free upgrade for Borderlands 3. Why and how the hell is this any different aside from the possibility that WWE wanted more money? Not to mention that the deluxe edition is $10 more than usual, and then they opted to have the yearly collector's edition have a digital version at $120. Look, I get it. Games are expensive to make, and we likely have downloadable content or DLC and microtransactions, likely because of the fact that we had the transition to HD gaming and that was hella expensive. So I imagine the transition to Ultra HD gaming is pretty expensive in its own right. Granted, it started with a mid-gen power upgrade with the PS4 Pro and Xbox One X, but and it's likely that they're just trying to make their money back as a result of having to delay the game four to five months so that the game would actually be good. But there's one issue I have with that. They're still including microtransactions. Granted, it's only in a part of the game called My Faction and appears to be akin to the mobile game WWE Supercard, but there are going to be people buying the priciest version already, so expecting people to also shell out money that will add up over time is purely greed and nothing more. Though if it turns out the microtransactions are going to be for the game's virtual currency, then it is likely that it won't actually be exclusive faction. As for what we've seen so far, I think it would be better if we at least got, I don't know, to see more gameplay than what we have so far. Like, if there's anything that'll put my mind at least a bit at ease, it's gotta be seeing a few matches played out in the game itself. Enough with the trailers showing clips of moves and showcasing the wrestlers hanging out in the 2K headquarters, I think it's the 2K headquarters, I don't actually know. I want to see the game in action before I buy. Hell, if you won't do that, at least make a demo available for us to try out when one is ready. Not to mention that if you really want that pre-order money, and you have enough faith in your game, this would be the absolute best way to do it if you're not going to upload a 10 minute gameplay video for us to freaking see. Of course, anything can happen as the game is just over a month away, and as much as I do not want to support WWE in any way, this is probably the only thing I feel like can be fine with getting, if not only because there's literally not much else to have as an option. Please be ready soon, AEW game. Now, I'm not going to go over stuff like My Rise replacing My Career Mode, 
or even the GM mode coming back, despite the fact that technically speaking, it actually got to start on the Japanese version of Final Pro Wrestling 2 on the Game Boy Advance of all things, because that's not the point of this. If nothing else, I just want the game to be good, microtransactions be dead. So if there's anything else you'd like to have me discuss as well, you can let me know in the comments below. I'll see what I can do about that, and in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and work on that Final Pro Wrestling video I've been meaning to work on for a while. Hold it up. Hello? You're kidding, the game is almost and or already out depending on when this video comes out? Am I never going to be able to do that Fire Pro video that I've been working on for months?